A lot of Mac users don't like Mac Mail app. They think it is outdated, it is slow, but it's usually set up wrong. So in today's video, I will share with you seven Mac Mail app tricks, kind of fixes that you should know right now and you can apply right now to make your app faster, cleaner, and slightly more safer. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Editors. Let's start with something that improves the battery life on your MacBook and SP2. By default, Mail app keeps checking inbox every few seconds, which slows your Mac and kills the battery faster. Open Mail app. In the menu bar, left side top corner, click on Mail, click on Settings. Under Settings, make sure you click on General. The second option from the very top, check for new messages automatically. If you're not using this Mac for business or official purposes and you don't care about the instant email replies, then you can switch it with 15 or 30 minutes. From here, you need to understand two things clearly. First, your Mac Mail app is not going to sync in real time. And the second good side of this changes, it is going to stop unnecessary syncing and activities in the background on your Mac. Did you know on your MacBook in Mac Mail app, you can find your emails without even opening it. You can just open a spotlight search and type a subject. You can type a sender's name or maybe a name of a company. Spotlight search will find it for you. But here's the real deal. What if your search is not working properly? It is too sluggish. It takes a lot of time to load the results then there is a problem in the search index. Open Mail app again. Click on Mail at the left side top corner. Get to Settings. Click on Accounts. Under Accounts, you may have one or two or more accounts. Select your account. On right, click on Mailbox Behavior. In this window, you see this? Store draft messages on the server. Store sent messages on the server. Uncheck them. A lot of users accidentally save their emails in the drafts or in the sent items and they're all stored on the cloud if they're on the cloud and if you're looking through the spotlight search you may not find the relevant results and it could be really sluggish as well so if you want seamless search results within your mailboxes you can uncheck these two boxes and then try spotlight search again additionally you can click on menu bar and get to mailbox then choose this option rebuild now this trick refreshes Mail's entire internal database. It doesn't delete Mail's, it just fixes the structure behind them. If attachments are not loading, images are not showing up, that's because Mail app is set to download attachments when it feels like it. So again, click on Mail, Settings, select your accounts one by one, and on right, the first option, Account Information, here download attachments recent to all so this resolves the problem when the images or attachments are not loading however you must know by setting it to all you are downloading every attachment on your mac so it is going to take more space on your mac also at some point it may slow your app down a little too therefore i highly suggest you to only enable this on your primary account A majority of users have no idea about it. As soon as you open a marketing email, those senders, those marketers, they know exactly when you open that email. So they flood you with more spams. You receive more emails from those companies. Within this MacMail app, you have this beautiful feature that you can enable right now. In the same mail settings window, click on this option privacy. I have got it already checked. You need to ensure that this option protect mail activity. This is checked. This one click hides your IP within MacMail app and blocks tracking pixels. Marketers, advertisers see nothing and you stay kind of invisible. This is a common problem for most of the Mac Mail app users. Can't connect to server or emails will load very slow. This problem often occurs due to bad connection, especially after updating macOS. To handle the situation, there are quick three steps I'll tell you. 
needs no technical expertise, click on accounts in the same settings window and disable your accounts temporarily. Now just wait for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And if you can wait for a minute, that'd be wonderful. Enable this account. This forces mail app to request a fresh connection token from your email service provider. After this single step, most connection issues disappear. However, in a few rare cases, the second step, you can restart your Mac. And third step, you can restart your internet modem or the router. Smart mailboxes are one of the most powerful and really useful features in Mac mail app, but almost nobody uses them. While the mail app is open, in the menu bar, click on mailbox. Select new smart mailbox. Now from here, you need to decide what kind of mailbox you wish to create. Let's create a mailbox for unread messages. In the first box, you can rename it, leave it to all. Further, let's add a filter. Message is unread. If you wish to add more filters to it, like if you wish to add a date range or something, you can go ahead and add another filter right from here. While I'm leaving it to only messages unread. And uh, we can also include messages from Ben, also from sent items and click OK. Now we have a dedicated smart mailbox folder here. This single feature saves you from scrolling through thousands of emails. This is the last one in this video. I've seen many users struggling while trying to add multiple email accounts in MacMail app. This is a pretty simple job, but I would still like to demonstrate to those who want that kind of assistance. MacMail is open. Click on mail at the left side top corner again, get to accounts. And here you can directly add account. You can go in and type your email address, whether Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, at and Verizon, whatever the type of email you have. You can keep adding multiple accounts here as many you want. Optimize them, organize them, maintain them all within just one email client app. This is it in this video. And I'm hoping you know MacMail application better than before. And you can resolve many issues just by yourself. Now, if you're ready to learn something new, watch our this video, 10 tricks about Safari. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.